now we had seen the mechanism by which the electrodes develop the potential okay and we knew that that potential is called an electrode potential right now when the concentration of the electrolytes in the of the of the salts of the electrolytes in the half cells is equal to unity then the electrode potential that develops is called standard electrode potential okay that is called standard electrode potential okay so so standard electrode potential is the electrode potential when the concentration of the species when the concentration of the species in the half cell in the half cells is unity is called the standard electrode potential okay now as per iupac <coughs> as per iupac the standard reduction potentials are taken as the standard electrode potential okay the standard reduction potential is taken as the electrode potential okay <clears throat> it is done with a purpose and you will understand the the beauty of it you can say it could have been the oxidation standard oxidation potential but fine they have taken the reduction potential as the as the standard okay now the the electrode where <coughs> oxidation takes place oxidation takes place is called anode okay and the electrode where reduction takes place is called a cathode okay <clears throat> so here where has oxidation taken place what is oxidation i hope you know this leogar right loss of electrons is oxidation loss of electrons is oxidation gain of electrons is reduction so which has gained electrons the cu2 plus is it not it was cu2 plus which went there gained two electrons and became cu and it was zn which lost two electrons jumped here became zn2 plus so in this case in this case the zinc is the anode and copper is the cathode right so 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 this is our anode this is our anode and this is our cathode understand this is our cathode what had we seen we had seen that our cathode had become 
positive with respect to the anode right it had become positive with respect to the anode why because cu2 plus was jumping in and i am talking about prior to the point where you had connected it and prior to the point where the the current <coughs> current started flowing this was this had become positive and this had become negative okay so 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 we say that the thode has a, a positive potential with respect to the solution with respect to the solution so so and, and we have seen that there is a negative 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 charge due to the positive charge jumping in so what had happened what had happened with respect to this this is at a positive potential right the electrode is positive with respect to the with respect to the solution here that we had seen yesterday here the anode has a negative potential with respect to the solution is it not and what do i mean by this this means i mean to say v v cathode minus v solution here i mean v anode minus the v solution okay so if we connect the solution to a positive charge solution then it also connects uh, connect the conduct current what 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 if the solution of the anode is the solution of the anode yeah. anode yeah it is uh, negative right solution is solution is positive solution is positive yes and if we connect the solution to a power <coughs> to a negative solution then we can uh, current conduct current hmm. yes bilkul but how will you connect it that's how you have connected right so but that is because of the but how will you connect this is this is what is this <clears throat> so this negatively charged electrode okay this negative and this positive okay this will lead to flow of electrons from the anode to the cathode do you see that okay also the cathode is is or has a positive potential with respect to the anode okay thus as the switch is closed as the switch is closed what happens there is a flow of current there is a flow of first of all electrons electrons from the anode to the cathode that is a current flows from the the cathode to anode that we have seen right <coughs>
ओके नाउ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल्स ऑफ द टू हाफ सेल्स इज कॉल्ड कॉल्ड द सेल पोटेंशियल ओके सो सो सेल पोटेंशियल is what <coughs> the difference between okay the potentials of the electrodes potentials of the electrodes and and when 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 we are saying the potential of the electrode it is the it is the reduction potential we are talking about as per uh, upac it is reduction potential so the difference between the potentials of the electrodes leave it right now is called the is called the cell potential it is called the cell potential okay so whatever potential difference you have it is called the <coughs> cell potential <coughs> and it is measured in what is the unit volt. unit is obviously volts that we are quite aware from physics okay it is called the cell potential correct now <clears throat> we know that we know that it is nothing but the the standard electrode potentials that we have taken is nothing but the reduction potential okay it is nothing but the reduction potential it is nothing but the reduction potential okay so 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 how, what do we what do we get ultimately that the cell potential is the difference between the reduction potentials right does the cell potential is nothing but the difference between the reduction potential potentials of the two half cells we'll soon see why so don't worry about that at this stage okay i i'll explain to you why that is happening okay why should it be the <coughs> difference <clears throat> and how do we calculate the reduction potential though? hold on when when we draw no current 
no current from the cell the potential difference the potential difference is called the emf or the electromotive force of the cell okay when you are not drawing any current so you just put a voltmeter voltmeter has such a high resistance that it won't allow any any current to flow but it will still measure the potential difference between the two ends and that will be the emf of the cell okay that is called the emf of the cell fine okay <clears throat> now conventionally okay conventionally a node is kept on the left and cathode is kept on the right okay okay <coughs> okay and there is a way to represent this <clears throat> it goes like that here there is oxidation taking place between z and z and 2 plus right so we write it like that this slash shows one interface so this is one interface right there is a liquid solid interface where this is happening On the right, Cu2 plus Cu is taking place. So there the reduction takes place, right? Again, there is a single interface. This is single interface. What do you mean by single interface? What do you understand by single interface? that there there's there's one between the between the liquid and the solid there is one barrier right the contact is between one two of the things which is forming one interface uh, one boundary right in between i put two vertical lines which represents two interface what is there that is that is having two interfaces <clears throat> in this cell what is there that is having two interfaces that is in contact with two things the salt bridge the salt bridge that is having two interfaces okay what is this interface Zn solid and Zn2 plus liquid. See that. What is this interface? Cu solid Cu2 plus liquid. Salt bridge has two interfaces. It touches both the solutions. Right? 